Oh, this is good, because I guess it's never been like... We've only discussed this every once in a while. This is a basic one, but it's kind of good. Patriot's asking, how did we... How did I meet each of the dudes? So I met Simmons. Uh, I've known Simmons the longest, technically. I worked at a little store called Electronics Boutique in the early 2000s. So I started working there in like 2000, uh, 2001. And uh, Simmons was quite literally like a mall rat, technically. He essentially just hung out at the mall. Um, he was about one year younger than me. Uh, around that time frame and he couldn't officially like work yet so he he was essentially around stores and just around the mall and would be at the arcade and everything like that and people i got introduced to him because everyone at the store already knew who he was he would essentially help out a lot at the store too which was funny he would actually help us out um he would go like grab things for us when when it was busy and shit we couldn't go anywhere and he eventually got a job there too which was cool but um yeah i just long story short i just essentially hung around the guy for so long that there was a few people that were kind of like that similar in, in the mall way back in the day there was there's definitely a few friends that i that were sort of like that but yeah he was uh sort of like around the mall a whole bunch around the time frame and then we just became friends and been hanging out ever since and yada 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 what age are we talking about teens yeah teenagers like 16 to 17 ish kenny i met kenny through steve and I met Steve through another friend of mine named Steve, Bojack, who's a, a mod in our chat too. And uh, Bojack already had a lot of friends and people, but he was one of the first guys I became friends with when I moved down to, uh, when I moved away from where I lived. I met Steve through him because Steve was, um, Steve was really good at fighting games, right? He was the, he was the dude that, was always like a really good challenge at stuff. Yeah, I would look forward to, to Steve being there so I could have like competition in Street Fighter and stuff like that or Marvel vs. Capcom or CBS2 or anything like that. So yeah, that's how I got to know Steve. I got to know Steve from my friend Steve uh, from another friend, right? That essentially just accepted me into their friend group when I started working at the store. And I got to know Kenny from Steve who I really didn't know very much at the time. This was like, I'd say 2003, 2004? Because Steve was coming over and playing Third Strike. And and Kenny came over and we would play like fighting games and stuff. He would come with Steve and Kenny had like a very, one of one of his daughters was with him. She was super young. And yeah, we just hung out a very little bit. I, I actually didn't get to know Kenny until a lot later. Like very casually, Kenny would show up in the store or something like that. Until a lot later when uh, Kenny worked at uh, a place called Mahalo Games. And this was like 2010 to 2011. He had access to early versions of like MK9 and like Marvel 3 and stuff and wanted to get some people that knew how to play Marvel vs. Capcom. So long story short, uh, I got to go play early Marvel vs. Capcom with Kenny. And funny enough, Kenny was going to be, um, when we when we were first working on Assist Me and we kind of knew Capcom and then the Capcom guys with like Ultimate Assist Me, Kenny was going to play Spencer. We were going to get Kenny to play a Spencer role because he obviously, like, uh, looked the part, had the dreads and everything, so it was going to be pretty dope. And at that at that moment, we, we might have had access to the Bionic Commando arm, the one that Capcom had from uh, E3. Like, they, they literally had a functional Bionic Commando arm that, like, retracted and you can move it and stuff like that. Uh, we, we learned that this eventually just ended up in some executive's friggin' uh, garage so we can never get it back. But um, at that time, it was going to happen until we, we did other characters instead. We ended up not doing Spencer and choosing other characters just due to like convenience, because the arm was always hard to get. But I learned from some friends at Capcom later on that like, yeah, wherever the hell that bionic arm went to, it's nowhere, nowhere to be found now. You just can't get it. I've known Andrew for several years when he was super young from a friend of ours by the name of Rodney. Andrew, you always used to hang out at another game store where I used to live because we would always go to our friend's house, Rodney, and we would just hang out. There's the ultimate fucking bachelor pad, right? And we would just hang out there as like, you know, 19, 18, 19, 20 year olds and stuff like that and just play games and shit and just drink Code Red Mountain Dew and go to Denny's. Um, yeah, we, we like, I swear to God, a bunch of us like practically lived there. And Andrew was like one of the guys that was essentially there. Mike, I knew from the Wesker episode. And, and, and Mike, I got to learn from Simmons, who met Mike from going to conventions and like anime cons and stuff like that. Because Simmons was a huge convention head. That was the years where I didn't see Simmons a lot because man, he got super absorbed into um, going to cons. So he became like a con lord. He met Mike through, the, through that respect and Mike was a Wesker cosplayer. And then he recommended Mike after Simmons played Doom. And so I got to know Mike, yeah, from 
through Simmons technically and through that first episode of Assist Me Wesker. From malls to cons. Yeah, pretty much. This is how people back in the day got to learn each other. Now it's all on Christian Mingle. How did I get to know JJ? I thought I told this story. I've told this story several times before. So uh, JJ is the, the, the best dude of them all. My, my best friend dude and my, my wife dude. And this, this dude over here has been with me longer than anybody, practically. I met JJ through, funny enough, the same way the store. Um, I still remember the first day I met Jessica, who would eventually become my wife and the mother to my, my beautiful daughter. I remember being introduced to her from my manager who thought I would like her already. Yeah, JJ didn't know me back then. She never even saw me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so she she knew the manager because she already, she already went to the store a whole bunch. And she would be told stories about me and stuff because I guess people were hyping me up and shit. So ultimately, like, my, my, my drawings got me a, a date with JJ <laughs> is what it is. So long story short, chat, in, in high school, I was super big into drawing, right? Like I like art was everything to me. So I was constantly drawing like video game characters and everything. Long story short, I would create these huge murals of like smaller video game art, but I would blow them up like crazy big and use colored pencil and marker to make them look really official and really cool. They would be all over the wall. They'd be like crazy ass giant Dino Crisis art or huge ass Final Fantasy VII art or the stuff that like my, my boss is like, that looks really cool. We should put that up on the wall. So they were essentially put up and above and there'd be these like big ass drawings all over the place that um, that looked pretty, they're kind of neat looking. <laughs> yeah, so, so Jay, I'm trying to let JJ explain if the mic will pick her up. So yeah, JJ essentially got to know that I existed through the drawings on the wall and then eventually showed up very early um, after the holidays were over, like the early, earliest part of the year. Oh, I remember. All I know is I remember going into the store and when I first saw you, I didn't know you <laughs> Thanks, honey. So yeah, uh, that's how I got to know JJ. It took it took a few years for us to eventually go out and like become an item, but eventually it happened. And uh, yeah, that's how that's how I got to know JJ. It was a long process, but yeah, me, me and JJ have essentially been together since 2005. So it's going on 17 years in a, in like a month, in a couple months. It is. Damn. Um, that's how I met all the dudes. Video games brought us all together.